Hello everybody. Uh, today we are back with another lesson. Uh, we're going to talk about the Elasticsearch, Kibana, Logflash and Fileboots. Really hot topic for as a monitoring tool. A really good tool. Um, and uh, really demanding in the industry nowadays. Right, so before we start, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so. Um, and at the end, please do like, comment, share uh, if you like it. This is what we're going to do today. Um, as you can see here, is um, this is the um, overview of what we're going to do. So, Elasticsearch, Log Slash, and Kibana are going to be in the one virtual machine which is the Jubundus uh, Linux machine window machine gonna have a file beat and we're gonna create some script as a log but again you can get the log from other um, window or Linux machine you have but over here we're gonna create the script the script gonna keep producing the log and file bit gonna sending the log to log slash and from there to last search and then to the kibana not to the kibana i mean the log in the last search you can see um in the kibana um if that makes sense okay um i like it says um log slash will collect the log from the different file bits yeah and then transform to the json messages and feed into the elastic cluster that's what exactly we're gonna do yeah so as you can see here is the the IP address for the Ubuntu machine is going to be 192.168.100.1 and for the window is 192.168.100.2 so this is the IP address for window and this is the IP address for Ubuntu so I will show you guys that one as well um, also if you uh guys so let's go in straight into the machines yeah so what i was saying is if you haven't uh downloaded the window machine um iso file and uh Jimindo linux machine iso file and you don't know how to do it how to configure it go back uh, go into the description and there is a video for how to download and configure the window file and for uh, download and win uh, download and configure the Linux Ubuntu file do that so you will be ready up to now here and after you've done that log in like I'm doing now and you'll be good to go okay same here same here um, I have configured both machines so this machine um, window file bit window uh, the IP address for this is uh, like I said before 192.168.100.2 uh, so you can see here IP address for this machine and for the Linux um, is uh, of course dot one hundred dot one okay so that make that clear uh, according to this photo here so dot hundred is for Windows Windows dot two happy okay so so far so good we all same line you download the ISO uh, file for the each machine you configure this machine and both machines are pinging to each other happy right there is a no more connection to the outside world so there is only one net connection only one net connection which is connected to the to the window machine happy right okay the next thing we need to do is guys uh, let's go to the to download the elastic search uh, kibana log slash and file beats okay so as you can see again uh, let's cancel this okay so as you can see here we need to download log slash elastic search kibana and file beat okay so i will keep bringing you up on this photo because i think this photo will give you more inside you will more understand when you look at this photo what i'm talking about okay right guys so what we're doing here is um if you go on description again so 
there will be a description saying download the Elasticsearch that will bring you up to here so when you're here you need to download this Linux so click on this and it'll ask you to download it that will be a .tar file so you download into your downloads okay that's the first thing second is the Kibana the click the another link underneath and you click the Linux 64 bit and that will bring you download that that will be into your downloads next one is the log slash again log slash click on the tar.zz file and that will go into your downloads again and the last one is the file beat the file beat we want is the window file beat um, which is windows zip 64 bit why I want a window file beat but everybody else everybody every other is a Linux well I spent quite a lot of time to search um, file beat and I wasted a couple of hours going through the internet I don't know why I know there are videos asking you to configure the file beat and some people don't have a problem well I had an issue to configure the file beat on the Ubuntu I don't know why um, and this is the way I think it worked now for me uh, and it's well it should work for you as well because I'm gonna show you now um, because video I seen on the YouTube is like you know don't know what's going on people just moving their mouse on left right and center and you know what I mean so it's gonna keep it simple guys so so far what we done we downloaded uh, log slash Elasticsearch Kibana and file beat we done that don't we I know there are three file beats here we're just gonna use guys one here this diagram is just for demonstration purposes don't just download three time okay just gonna download one file beat into one machine and three so one log slash one lecture one cabana in the Ubuntu. okay so far so good okay Ubuntu have this IP address window have this IP address so far so good okay minimize this again so we downloaded this so this should be in your download folder so what I want you to guys is copy your uh, file beat from your downloads into your window machine so like I did so when you go into your window machine this is your window machine uh, download that um, file beat you downloaded from the download folder copy that from the download folder and uh, paste over here so I just created the um, folder called ELK so just in simple form is Elasticsearch log slash in Kibana I just made up a name actually <laughs> this could be anything could be a I don't know I don't know something stupid uh, anyway so in the C drive ELK and then copy that file here happy simple no problem yeah other three files you have uh, which is the I'm gonna go back to same which I love this log slash last research cabana all files are they are a zip folder it's not called zip there's like Linux zip so it's like they're tar file that's the right word yeah so they are tarred tar file Linux tar file three of them and then you copy three of them together into the Linux machine okay um, I created a file over here called install so you all copy this those here okay all of them copy here all installed boom yeah and when you when you when when you copy those all three here do the extract here so if you right click and do extract here same so that's why I done so extract um, extract these folders right here okay don't worry about the um, JDK don't worry about it don't worry about it okay Just forgot about this JDK forgot about this talking about lane uh, elastic search cabana log slash let's pick this up yeah, it's better let's zoom this up here we go it looks better so you are in in the home under the, in the install folder under the home and then don't worry about the JDK Elasticsearch, search Kibana and log slash you copy from your download folder over here and then you done the 
extract here and when you've done the extract extract here these three folders are here log slash cabana and Elastic search simple as that guys okay do not make it too complicated people are just making some videos and making some random music on the back and making things like you know what i mean um too complicated just keep it simple all right it's gonna work trust me it's gonna work and if it doesn't work uh, i know some people are having issue and you might be here because of that issue installing the elastic search java all those things you know what it will work on this and if you work on this I will tell you where to go to find that I may have made another video to solve that issue but if you do this way you might not have that problem okay so we done that minimize this um, so that's done uh, the next thing we need to do is here we go we need to install the elastic search okay so I have made a little script here which we need to follow um, Let's run the elastic search. So we don't let the elastic search, let's run it now. Okay. So what are we gonna do? If I can view Ooh, full screen. Hey, that looks better. That look better guys. Okay. Um nah, should be alright. Okay. Um as long as you can see these folders, because I don't know if my you know what I mean the size of my screen is how big that is anyway so let's install the uh, Alexa this is ping to the another machine so don't worry about this as well so I'm just gonna minimize this here we go that looks better just gonna keep everything on the desktop I love this um, control alt T open new terminal um, and bring that terminal a bit bigger so that people can see right okay so let's download the elastic search elastic search you don't need to go into sudo su so you don't need uh, all those gucci administration uh, permissions just gonna um, install the elastic search as it is uh, we know that elastic search is in is in the install folder right um uh, also guys um just want a quick um update on this um all the folders are here just don't make yourself confused at all what's happening where is that where is that you know everything is here um, oh, one sec right okay um, yeah so everything is is in the install folder right and uh, you see just want to show you quick um, if you go to electric search another another electric search in the config file there is a um, there is a file called key store i had issue with this file um i'm sure if you if you are using this um you know what i mean uh, you might not have this file so basically when i downloaded um, elastic search uh, on my machine and i was checking before making this video i i seen this is a this is an issue so what I done, I haven't done anything like different than you guys done. Um, I just downloaded the one more elastic search, um, and that elastic search is here. Look, just outside the um, elastic search, but just to prove everything work and just no confu confusion you had. I just gonna um, um, I'm gonna delete this elastic search and bring that one over here. Is that alright? You know what I mean? It should be fine uh, because I don't want anybody to be confused, right? Or if you don't want me to delete, I just leave this here. And the one I copied, just keep this. Here. This is just copied here, and then I extract here. You know what I mean? It should work, but it was it was corrupted. Uh, when you open your install and Elasticsearch over here, uh, you might not have this file, which is called dot key store. I don't know what that stupid file is but anyway it's locked and when I, because I run Elasticsearch millions of time now because I've wasted so many hours on this and uh, I don't know the way you download it or you take the files quickly or something like that when you have this lock and cross the file doesn't work so that the reason for that I just downloaded um, another Elasticsearch well 
downloaded already in the downloads it's copied in another lakshya search over here should be all right this is my home folder guys happy 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 okay let's go so i'm gonna use if you want guys yeah if you want you can um you can also copy one more lakshya search this outside here instead of going into the install absolutely fine i don't mind that it's just making a life easy because i feel this file this 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 file is this file is not good for me so that's the reason okay um and that's why i i put the another file here okay just wasted a couple of minutes now um scroll this right it's gonna go into cd home into the home now ls and there is a elk folder which is this yeah so in the home there is a elk folder and then cd elk And um the fair enough. Here we go. Um I'm in the ELK um ELK folder now. So in the ELK folder what happening here is there is a well can can you everybody see this, yeah? There you go, that's better. I will, you know, to you. Right. So what happening here, guys? This is what I was talking about. The in the install folder, there are everything. There are all the Kibana log slash and last research. But because that last research was for file, I feel that is corrupted because that that red cross. I just don't uh, copied one more time from my um, downloads uh, over here. That's a tar file tar dot zz, um, and then I extract here, which is that. So I'm just gonna run that well should shouldn't be any problem you can run from wherever you are happy so let's do that so we are in the elastic search and there's another folder so let's go that one and that's in so now we can see um in the elastic search there are these folders happy now we are talking about if i go here in the in the we're talking about these folders happy this is what we are talking about guys this is exactly same thing open side by side right uh, this is the command line and that one is the GUI okay so let's run this so to run the Elasticsearch that's what this is the command let's extract out a bit uh, here we go okay so this is the command bin forward slash lexus search and it will take over everything happy um and that's it enter it's gonna say this java hotspot warning and i'm sure some uh, some of you guys are here because of this uh this hotspot warning uh don't worry about it it's gonna run absolutely fine um and i will tell you uh there's another video if you have issue with the java guys there's another video in the same playlist so this playlist um go to my channel go into the playlist and this playlist is called elk elastic log slash kubana when you click on a elk playlist there is a um, there's a video um, um it's called um, elastic search uh, java issue and uh, solved i go to that video and it will tell you what to do and what to install and what to do so this is your uh, elastic search is running now happy okay we're gonna minimize this because it's all good here we go and is thumb here so it's all good it's working yeah let's go to another uh, control lt so that's one is the um kavana we need to do uh bring this up why right, this is the kavana so what we're gonna do is uh, let's go to um elk Let's go to install, where is install, and let's go to Kibana. This is the Kibana, guys, yeah. What happens in the in the, in the Kibana, guys? Um, how can I? There we go. Come on, me. Install and Kibana. And in the Kibana, the only thing we need to 
only thing we need to edit is the um, .jml file so if I go to config there's a kavana.yml file yeah so all go there so let's go back again I'll show you so ooh, can I bring this down come on man here we go well, that's a bad huh? so if you all go to home and then install folder and then the kavana folder itself and then again kavana and then go to config is a config and in the config there's a kabana.yml folder file yeah uh, go into this and then go into uh, open with the text editor or whatever software editor you have and you go there and the only thing we need to change which I'm sure you guys need to do that um, is this look let me bring this up and see if no it's not going up guys and you might have to gentlemen see here very carefully right this is the ooh, go up yeah so if you from the top if you keep looking so one two three it's my like a 10 15 lines it says uh elastic dot host http for localhost dot uh 9200 so you need to take that hash from the front off when you take the hash off it will become like a colorful and that's the only thing you need to do so what you telling him you telling the cabana to go and search elastic search happy for all queries just take that hash off and become a colorful and that's the only thing you need to do when you're done uh, cancel everything and then come here um, Again, you don't need a sudo su with this, um, but you can try. It will save you to go back, uh, put your password in. Here we go. Um, CD. So let's go to um, CD home and then ELK. Yeah, install. Yeah, Kabana. Yeah, this is a Kabana folder. If you ls Kabana folder, this is what you need. So, what you need to do bin forward slash kabana yeah happy and now you press enter and kabana will load right so <laughs> well it should load but you like i said before just to demonstration person see it says kabana should not be run as a root use dash dash allow to continue so what we need to do is guys exit so now you back to cd home elk install and then kabana and now you see this um the files now you bin forward slash kabana yeah bin forward slash kabana press enter and the kabana will load um it might look so easy for you some guys to say oh why why your kabana or your log slash is running so quickly and mine is not running that quickly i had millions of issues and all those things guys don't worry about it any problem any problem you have with elasticsearch kabana log slash or your file file beat comment to me the two issue i found the first issue was um, installing the elasticsearch because that was that's having a, a java issue i made a video on that and that problem is being solved if you go through my playlist there is a video the other problem i seen was the file beat you can't install file beat on linux for some reason i don't know might be some people some um you know i mean gigs are out there who can do it but i, I can't so i made a another video installing file beat on the window so the both problems seen but anything you have extra just let me know so when you are here guys you see when this is all fully running you see this um, says localhost 5601 just right click and open the link um, when you open the link um, it will um, it will load it will load this and your kabana is running okay um, let me bring this on the side guys happy your kabana is running and um, if you click over here right and management 
and this is where you supposed to see all the all the logs and everything all right so when the logs come this will be, be it, it will become here um that's the cabana done as well so let's talk about the log slash guys so if i put this here should be all right yeah you can see that can you oh, should be all right okay so that's your uh, cabana done the other one is the log slash so if i control lt bring the log slash in so control a bit bigger there we go this is better so log slash you need a sudo su guys uh, password for that is password your own password not mine <laughs> um okay so we are here so now the next step for us is the log slash okay um what we want is um what we're gonna do one sec Ooh. Ooh. yep that's right we need some files um to to add into the log slash so i just gonna pause the video and print those files here all right guys so this is the file i was talking about here so we need to create a config file so the file in the configuration of the log slash so if i'm sure you guys can see this if you can see this stop the screen here and copy this so from the input all the way um up to here cop just write it down word to word and then copy it right that's that's what we need to do so basically um what's gonna happen you're gonna receive um you're gonna listen for the port 5044 which the file bit so file bit gonna send the f um log on 5044 uh, which we are taking talking about here so you're gonna open the port for the log slash this is what you're doing you can, you're opening the port for for log slash and uh, for 9200 it's gonna send a log so it's gonna send a log to Elasticsearch, which is this port you're gonna send, and Elasticsearch is gonna listen on this port. I'm I'm sure you guys are happy with this. It's a little script, okay? So copy this like I did before. Copy this, and then let's go to ELK. In the ELK install, in the install, um, where's the log slash? This one, yeah. In the log slash, um, there's a file. Uh, you create uh, log slash dot config over with text editor and copy this here happy should be happy yeah and then it's a text document guys so you just create a text document this file and give a name of this file um, log slash dot config l o g s t a s h dot c o n f config yeah uh, this is the file as you can see it happy should be all right the next thing so you done that happy so cross this right so now it's time to run the log slash so if you see my notes again um, this time we need to specify um, what's happening so let's go to the um, where that file is what where the log slash reside so log slash in the install folder isn't it so um, install and then log slash uh, we are in and check if you are in yeah so you are in the log slash um, what we need is um, what we need is the um, the command so bin forward slash um log slash um minus f and then root for that folder you created so you created the config file don't you so this config file let's go into the install uh, log slash this file i'm talking about the one you just created if you go to property of that file um i don't know if you can see it's too small but on yours you will see the this home elk install and the log slash 
and then the name of that file happy so far yeah cancel that less home elk install log slash and then um, logs dash dot con and then tab and it will complete for you log slash dot config I'm just gonna bring a bit bigger so that you can see what I'm doing because you know I mean sometime I don't realize this is right better this is what I done so far guys so this is the command if I stretch out happy so home elk install log slash and then um, this is what we need to run should be alright yeah uh, click on uh, enter Java host this is all happening and uh, you know anything in the future release will be you know destroyed and all those things happy so far so this is running uh, you can wait and it will say started and all those things I say say saying uh, starting log slash and yeah it's running as you can see here all the mapping and you know what I mean everything's good yeah this might be happening first time with you Ooh, good well I to reach up to here I wasted a couple of days actually <laughs> I'm not gonna lie but yeah is it is what it is guys it's a successfully started log slash with this so 9600 so if I go to the tab and um, the IP address of this machine the, the Linux machine which is 100.1 and the port is gonna be open 5044 yeah and when you click that it will go like woo it's changing it see this um, let me do again you refresh this and it's all refreshing it because you're requesting something and he's asking oh where to get from I don't know where to get that data from see logs like input B this is this because you're waiting you're waiting the input from the beat the file beat happy so far so good guys okay uh, if I put I don't know if I can put like um, 192.168.100.1 and colon 9600 see if that any make difference so yeah uh, okay one sec HTTP and forward slash and that's it no okay that will work incoming time uh, so that's it happy with that I guess should be alright yeah okay so so far so good all working here so if I bring that photo again the photo I love so much so you want uh, the Linux machine log slice is working Elasticsearch is working, command is working. They all are on this IP address. Happy. Now we're gonna work with the file beat and then we're gonna push the data to the log slash and you will be hopefully seeing Kabana and Elasticsearch will be kicking off and you know everything will be good to go. So let's go to window guys. Um uh here. All right. So you have um no, let's cancel this, yeah. And bring take it to the side. Here we go. Here we go okay let's open a folder go into C drive into the ELK folder you created and you put the file bit here yeah okay the few things we need to do in the file bit I bring my notes again I love my notes I love my notes okay uh, this is what you need to do we need to go into file bit dot um, folder okay let's go there um, file beats file beats and there will be a file beat uh, yeah so file beat dot yml file happy I know it does say it's like a notepad or something but because it being opened might be other application being opened with a notepad and that's why it changed its uh, property but that's a file beat dot yml file happy don't be confused with anything right you open the file you can open the notepad and this is what you want so guys um, it says file bit inputs so let's give him a input so anything with the hash is blocked so it's not gonna work because it's got hash in the front so anything not in front of hash which is like this um, is gonna work so if there is a hash in front of you in your log 
take the hash off one that's the one thing you need to do the second thing you need to do is this put the hash back on on this vr.log and take the hash off from here right and this path we're talking about here this path we need to put it in where this path come from mm, that's the input isn't it because we are talking about the input here huh? file bit inputs and this is input where this input coming from okay let's um, uh, bring this screen smaller and uh, go back to the file bit right in the file bit what we've done is guys um well this looks stupid uh how can we change this to some list hey that's better right so in the file bit and um, there are uh, the, uh, the, the um, data we created is a text.log is nothing in there like this is a text file Ooh, cheers man um, you can put whatever you want to put here because we haven't put any anything inside it might be much log on the on the cabana or on the log slash oh sorry on the cabana or the elastic search so you can put any script you want download from the internet put that in and that will be shown on the other side any table or anything like that happy happy so we created this file text.log log so we created that in the pc c drive in the elk file beat file beat and we created that here okay just create a test document guys call it test dog log and when you go into the property for test dog log go into details um, oh security yeah so on the security there is a path on the top this is the path we're talking about here guys come on mate here we go happy so you copy that control c as you all know you are a you know what i mean going to be a hacker or something i don't know um so copy that and then bring that um, yml file here again which we just minimize here, here we go and bring that open so you copy that and paste that path here so you telling the file beat hey mate this is your input this folder is going to be your input happy happy should be all right yeah right, test drive. happy okay right um yeah that's could be all right happy so you done the input the two things you need to do is this and this anything else just put the hash on the front don't worry about it you don't need any other input okay uh go to output now so keep going keep going keep going keep going here we go output here uh in the output a few things you need to change guys elastic search output elastic search put the hash over here you need to put the hash over here if you don't your file bit is gonna keep sending the uh log to the elastic search you don't want that you want your file bit to send the uh, log to the log slash and log slash will send to the elastic search you can send it over here for small small environment but that's not what we're doing here this lesson is for file bit to log slash log slash to elastic search happy happy okay so put the hash over here under the elastic search so that you block everything so anything nothing is there right and keep going in the log slash now so that's where we need to be yeah so in the log slash make sure this output dot lag slash have no hash in the front this one and the other thing is this this is what we need so you are on a window the window IP address is dot two isn't it hundred dot two uh, window IP address window IP address hundred or two but you given hundred or one over here what does that mean so you telling your file be that your log put uh, uh, sorry output log output going to be on this ip address at this port that's it guys so two thing three things you need to change the first one is the input you need to give a that folder uh, path the folder is locally created in your file bit called text.log happy second thing is the uh, stopping your data going out to the electric search you put hash over there and third and finally your log slash take the hash off from there and from there and configure with the IP address your machine is that's it 
cancel this or save this of course you need to save it that's it done done and all good now we need to run the file beat a um, couple of things um, the file beat need to be run um, let's open the PowerShell power shell right click on it as an administrator so you are here good CD backslash all the way to the back so you are working on this uh, playing with this as an administrator guys okay so we need to CD um, um, ELK is it should be a yeah. ELK file beat yeah and then one more file beat inside isn't it yeah so press enter so you are in the file beat if you can see here right the one thing is you need to do is guys file beat dot exe minus c i believe is minus c i think because you're gonna yeah so minus c and then uh file beat dot xaml file the one you just um modified um yeah so you you modified the dot yml file because you told him this is your input you don't need to send the output to last research you need to send the output to the um, to the to the uh, log slash happy okay so press enter Ooh, something gonna happen yeah so this gonna stay here for in I don't know for how long so when you click this something is happening in the background we all know this okay so if you go to elk here we go password um, and uh, expand that into the discover and um, oh what happens Come on. oh sorry dev tool <laughs> thinking what's happening <laughs> right um on here if you put oh, log slash and uh, log slash is a index and you press go there's something here guys yeah quite good yeah okay so that means data is coming some sort of data because we didn't put we didn't put any big input did we the only thing we put here guys is the a test.log file a test.log file yeah uh, which was just saying this is a text file yeah cheers mate so this is the one yeah test.log this is a text we need something of course it depends what you want guys I've just given the example but it's all working yeah thank you very much for watching guys but if you really appreciate this video please subscribe I don't have many subscriber um, and if you have issue with your um, Java and your um, your files files file beat go down into the playlist my my channel and playlist called elk and under there there is a both solution of these problems okay guys any issue comment and like and i will get back to you guys okay thank you very much for watching um thanks a lot thank you bye